Venn diagrams are all about understanding this U shape and this N shape here. So what this set of letters means is P stands for probability and then we have the bracket so it's the probability of the thing happening inside the brackets. What is that? Well here's the thing, the U means OR. That means it could be A or it could be B. If it's not A that doesn't matter as long as it's B. If it's not B it doesn't matter as long as it's A and it could be both of them. We don't mind. It's at least one of A or B. So if we look at this Venn diagram, this shows the probability of A or B because here it's not B but it is A so it can be filled in. Here it's not A but it is B and this middle bit is both. So this is A or B. We don't mind either as long as we get at least one of them. That's what the U means. It's an OR. So the U stands for OR. Okay, let's write that down actually. OR. The N stands for both or AND. What I like to think of it and how I remember it is the U is kind of smiling, like a smiley face. It doesn't really mind. It's kind of relaxed. So you can have A or you can have B or one of them or both of them, whatever you want. The N is more unhappy face. It's AND. You must have both. It's strict. You must have A and B. The only region on this diagram that has A and B is here. So that's why if you were drawing this on the Venn diagram, you'd fill in this section. You'd look for this probability here. We'll get to a question in a second. Let's do a few more examples. The final thing to learn, by the way, is that when there's a dash, that means not. So for example, B dash means not B. So remember, the U means or. It's happy and relaxed. So we can have A, for example, this bubble. Anything in here counts. We're happy. We've got A. Or, if you don't mind, we could have not B. So this outside bit here is not B, isn't it? It's definitely not inside the B bubble. That means we're happy because we've got one of our options. So that's why you'd fill in everything apart from this section. Because this, this section is not A and it is B, so it breaks both of them. So remember, OR is very relaxed. N is strict. So it has to be not A and it has to be B. So for the N, you have to tick both options. Whereas for the OR, if you just get one of them, it's fine. Okay, so this section here, for example, ticked this one because it was not B. This section here would have ticked this one because it was A. But here when it's N, it's strict. It has to tick both options. So the only place which is not A and which is B is here. This section is inside B, but it's part of A, so it doesn't tick this one. So you have to tick both of them. Let's use our knowledge of Venn diagrams now to see what this one is. Now this one seems pretty generous to me. It seems to be including a lot of different things. So it's including B here, so this bubble, both of them, and it's including things which are not A. So it seems to be very generous, so it's going to be one of those OR, the probability of, I would say B, and then or, so that U symbol, let's just use a U, or not A. I'll just quickly explain why I believe this, because it ticks either option. So this area inside the B bubble ticks this one, or we could have outside A, which ticks this one. Remember, with or, it's very relaxed, you only need to tick one of them for it to make sense. In a way, this is the reverse of this one. So it's the same thing, but the letters reversed. Can you guess what this one would be? You could pause the video and try and work this one out. Okay, so this one is much more strict. This seems to be you have to fulfill two criteria. It has to be inside A and it has to be outside B. So this is strict, so this is going to be an N or AND, and I would say it's going to be, it has to be A, and it also has to be not B. So this person loves A, but they hate B. So it has to be A, but it can't be even touching B. So that would be the answer for this one. Let's get to a realistic exam question. Okay, so in this 
German class of Miss Narwan. It's got a bad reputation, this class. In Miss Narwan's class of 40 students, 28 students like apples, for A, 15 students like bananas, B, and 10 students like both apples and bananas. A student is chosen at random from the class. Draw a Venn diagram to represent this information. So here is my killer tip. Start from the middle and work outwards. So what's the middle? The middle would be both A and B. So in this question, that would be 10 students, because 10 students like apples and bananas. Now we can work backwards. So if 15 students here like bananas, well, we've already used up 10 here. So that means there must be five students who only like bananas. So there's five students who only like bananas, 10 students who like bananas and apples, which makes 15 in total, 15 students liking bananas. Now you know that 28 students like apples in total, could you work out what's here? You might want to pause the video and work that out. What it would be is 18. Because if 10 students like apples and bananas, and we know 28 students like apples in total, that means there must be 18 who only like apples. So this bubble now adds up to 28, just like this bubble adds up to 15. Let's count what we've got so far. I always like to finish off the Venn diagram. We've got 18, 10, and 5. That adds up to 33, I reckon. So how many people were in the class in total? Well, there were 40 students. So the final bit of information are the people outside both bubbles. Notice inside the bubbles, it adds up to 33, and there's 40 students in total. That means there must be seven students outside of both bubbles. Let's now answer the question. So we've answered part A by filling in the Venn diagram. Obviously, you would have to draw this in the exam. Part B is the student does not like bananas. So that means we need to count up all the students outside of the banana bubble. Because inside the banana bubble, that's liking bananas. So outside the banana bubble, we have 18 here and 7 here. That adds up to 25. So, that's tw so the answer for B is 25 out of how many students in total? 40. That's part B. Part C, and these questions do get quite easy once you have your good Venn diagram, does not like apples or bananas. So we talked about that before. The only people who don't like apples or bananas, they must be outside both bubbles, so it must be seven. So this answer would be seven out of 40.